It's been a tense seven hours for Corrales and Sandia Pueblo. This is what it looked like this afternoon. The 106 acre fire is still going strong on the east side of the river. Here's a look tonight, and while crews think they have a handle on the Bosque fire on the Corrales side, there are fears it could act up again with the wind. Or it could be the landing spot for flying embers from the Sandia side of the river. We have live team coverage. We start with Alex Tomlin in Corrales. Alex? Jessica, the glow from this fire is a very real reminder of the threat still looming over the village of Corrales. We've learned there are very serious situations on both sides of the river where the fire is burning. Sky Ranger was just over the fire, giving us a better look at what firefighters are dealing with right now. On the east side, officials say about 100 acres have burned and the fire is 0% contained. Firefighters are working to keep the flames from pushing on the east and jumping Highway 313. A major gas line sits just on the other side of the highway. On the west side here in Corrales, the fire is 80% contained, having burned just shy of six acres. The fire started around 3.30 this afternoon near Romero Road in the northern part of the village where Corrales Road starts to meet Rio Rancho. There was no lightning today, so this fire was human caused, but they don't know how yet. The fire quickly jumped the river east over onto the Pueblo. Single engine tankers worked to put out the fire before the sun went down. Officials on the east side say the high winds expected tonight are a very big concern and that if the fire is blown back towards Corrales, there is plenty of fuel still left in those burn areas for it to really get going and take off. Of course, there are dozens and dozens of homes right here up and down the Bosque in Corrales. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Alex. Now, again, the big concern overnight will be the wind. It is expected to howl out of the east, and that could spread embers back across the river at Corrales. Here's Mark Ronchetti. Yeah, you guys, we want to kind of show you a vantage point on this thing and exactly what we're looking at. And here is the fire as it burns. This is the east side of the river. Sandias are right up here. What we're going to get is an east wind that's going to come rolling down the Sandias tonight. And the real concern is does it hit a lot of these embers and carry them right over to the river and along the Corrales side? Once again, remember this thing already jumped from the west side to the east side. Could it go from the east side again back to the west side? It's very, very possible that it could, and here's why. Here's a look at the maps and what we're dealing with. We have a wind advisory in effect for tonight. Could see gusts up to 50 miles an hour after midnight. Bullseye time frame looks like about 2 a.m. till about 7 a.m. with some of the strongest winds. What we've got is a cold front coming in, and that's going to shoot those winds across the valley. So that's why there is some concern. Tonight.